Hello Fenlanders, how are you? I'm Anna, welcome to our channel. I am just driving to a demo day with our local PEX. So yeah, it's exciting. I think Daniel said that they are doing a sprayer demo day. So I need to go and find his friend Mel and he's gonna show me around and give me a tour. So. Yeah, I'm flying solo again today because they're still really busy. At the roundabout, oh. continue on to Prickwillow Road. Okay. They are still really, really busy doing potatoes. So, so, yeah, I thought I would come out, have a look, show you guys around. And just because Daniel's not free doesn't mean to say that I can't still go and have a little look around. So, yeah, it'll be a good day. Show you guys about and see what they're doing demos on. So if you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to give it a big thumbs up. Also, if you are new here, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. It's absolutely free. You don't have to pay anything. All you have to do is just set up a YouTube account. Yeah, all free, all free to do. For, um, for coming along. I'm going to hand you over to Josh Rhodes now, who's our product specialist. He's going to talk you around this ZATS42, um, tell you a little bit more about the machine. We'll then move on to, on to sprayers as well. It's a lovely day outside, so I think we, we, we can get outside and walk around a, um, a trailed machine out there as well. If you've got any questions, just, um, just ask. Um, yeah, we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and hand you over to Josh. Yeah. Well, welcome everyone. Um, so, this is our ZATS, which is basically our top spec. Uh, spreader range that we do. Uh, basically this is 4,200 litres in between 1,400 and 4,200 litres range. Hydraulic drive on this one, uh, you can have PTO drive if you want, um, but basically for ultimate um, use of the machine really you need you need to have uh, hydraulic drive. So essentially this, this spreader that we've got here isn't uh, a fully spec up one. Uh, there's two main features that we don't have on this spreader that we do do is Argos Twin and Wind Control. So an Argos Twin system is basically a radar system that will sit on these bars here. And basically the radar system watches constantly for the fertilizer coming out. And essentially, for whatever reason, if you are to bend or damage one of your veins on here, basically the Argos Twin system will recognize that something's wrong with, with, with the spreader that's coming, with the spread pattern which is coming out and basically it'll automatically correct itself all of the time to adjust and it will do this even when you're on slopes for hills and it will always constantly adjust itself and then basically you combine this with the wind control the wind control will basically will adjust will watch the wind wind pattern basically say if it's too windy to actually go spreading it won't stop you from spreading but it'll tell you that the parameters that you've asked to spread at that it, you won't be able to spread at those parameters Border TS on this system, so like all the com other conventional spreaders, you have basically a deflector that comes down here for the border. So basically this works, this system works here, using this here. It shortens the vein length, so obviously if you've got a shorter vein, you can't throw it as far. So going around on your headland, you're doing your headland, basically this, this blade here flicks over, and now we've got a shorter vein, so you're not throwing it as far. We have an agitator system in, inside, inside of the tank. If it feels resistance to the agitator, the agitator will reverse. Because if it's resistant going forward, it can't actually break up the clumps. If there is a solid clump in there, so it'll reverse. But it will also let you know that there's something not, not particularly right there. Throughout all of our spreader range, uh, we have the My Spreader app. You get your fertilizer, you find out what fertilizer specification it is that you've got. You go onto the My Spreader app, you put into the my spreader app what you what fertilizer you've got and it tells you the settings to put into the fertilizer spreader so you don't need to ring anybody up it's always there on your phone it's free and in conjunction with the my spreader app we have the purple mats which you've seen out here it's to check that the system's working correctly so obviously we we test all of us all the as many fertilizers as we can over in germany in our spreader testing facility and essentially that these, um, the settings are then programmed onto the app for the fertilizer. So basically then you use the, use the uh, easy check maps to double check that what you're doing is right. So if you haven't got wind control set up on machine or specified with the machine, basically you go out into your field, 
you put your mats down, you do a pass either way, and then if it is a bit windier, you're going to have to alter the settings from the settings that we've sent from Germany. So you put your mats down and then basically you go along with your phone to take a photo of each mat and it basically it then tells you that, oh, you need to now change settings to this to counterbalance if there's not right. Because you do have discrepancies sometimes with fertiliser with just different weights and everything within the grain. Um, right, so yeah, I'll go through the ZAV. So basically the ZAV is sort of the middle range. It's not quite as um, technical, technically advanced as the ZATS. Um, so basically with the ZAP we can have hydraulic or PTO drive. Same size, same sizing with the ZATS. It's just you just don't get quite the technology. You can't have Argos Twin, you can't have wind control on a ZAV. Um, but you can do section control and everything with ZAV, same as ZATS. So at the back we've obviously got the same system as the ZATS. This, this section here is again pressed out of one sheet so you've got that uniform. So we've got the difference is, is the spreading discs. The ZATS and the ZAV use the same teardrop shaped system to adjust its drop point on the disc. But obviously we've now got um, manual basically adjustment which is done using this, this, thing, this piece here. And basically you adjust, adjust it into the, different, into the different holes for your adjustment. With your border, you don't have uh, the border TS where it clicks over automatically. Um, this system is basically a deflector system. You kind of see the three different settings within the deflector. So you've got your ditch and then you've got your water course and then just normal non-deflector um, for your settings for, your for the spreading of that. With these wheels on here, basically these wheels, uh, they can they fold up, up, well not automatically, but you gave them a kick and essentially so they, they'll fold up out of the way for road transport and when you're using it. Um, you can have hydraulic drive on these machines if you want. We're in conjunction with the weigh cells, you've told it, say you've put a bag in at 600 kilos, Yes. you'll get, this will fully light up green, so right now it thinks that there's pretty much nothing in it. Yeah. It's obviously never had anything in it, but basically as you're going along the field it gives you a rough idea Basically, this green green section here will slowly come down, and basically just allows you. It's not a full accurate uh, reading from that green zone, but the actual way cells do give an accurate reading. So I'm going to uh, just talk you through this uh, UF that we've got here. Uh, basically, this one is a 2,000 litre model, and uh, basically the model sizes that range from basically from 1,000 to 3,500 but the only, um, it's only 1,000 to 2,000 mounted onto the back of the tractor. We basically, we do as well the front tank, which is a 1,500 litre front tank as well. It's on Power Beyond, and it can be PTO or we can do hydraulic drive now. This is what we call our smart sensor. Uh, this one here is equipped with comfort pack. Uh, the comfort pack meaning basically we have automatic cleaning and we have automatic filling. So you basically don't have to worry about get to a certain level and being there you can basically punch a number in so a thousand litres you want to put in and it automatically will stop at, the, at that range and then this is our induction bowl here it's the 60 litre induction bowl and it's all basically ergonomically designed obviously when it's mounted onto the tractor it's a lot higher than it is at the moment moving on to the booms and basically we do 12 metres to 30 metres and then we've got what's called AMA switch uh, we can have quad nozzle bodies or we can have triple, triple nozzle bodies. Uh, we can have individual nozzle shut off on these or we can have the part whip section shut off. Um, on here it's uh, the part whip section shut off. You can specify the booms with um, DUS and basically DUS is a pressure recirculation system. And so obviously when you back into the corner of the field and um, basically the pressure is immediately there. So you don't have to wait for the pressure to build up before you set off. You just flick it on and you go straight away. With our, with our front tanks that we do, we basically we have uh, something called flow control. So when you're fill it, filling the sprayer, you don't have to fill the, the two tanks individually. You basically you fill from just one side, so you'll fill from this side, and it automatically will transfer the liquid from the back to the front to maintain an equal level. And it will also it will do this throughout when, when you're using the sprayer, it's just something that you don't, have, you don't need, to, need to worry about. It'll automatically make sure you've got an equal level of fluid on each side because too much in the back, if you're going up a steep hill, you'll, you'll put front wheels off the air.
So I have just met Not some me. lovely gentleman <laughs> today and he's trying to get his friend on YouTube so I thought I'd get him in on it as well. <laughs> that backfired on you a bit, didn't it? <laughs> but that's his lovely friend over there that he's trying to get on YouTube. Can you give us a wave? <laughs> hey! Pop! Tickle pink. <laughs> 1973 pop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I love it. <laughs> <laughs> Um, welcome, I'm just going to go through the, uh, this uh, UX 4201, uh, basically this UX is part of the UX super range, so it's sort of part of the range, of the, the top spec of uh, the, the UX range, so basically we'll start sort of front, work our way to the back, with our UX super range you can have either hydraulic drive or PTO drive, uh, we can have the ring, standard sort of ring hitch, a draw bar type hitch, or you can have cup and ball hitches. The, fr the frame, the chassis and everything are designed, so basically tucked in under below there is basically sort of a spring unit, so the draw bar has got a bit of a movement in it, so you don't, it doesn't throw you about in the cab as much. All that we have on the, on the super range, basically it's the twin pumps, one's a suction pump and one's a spray pump, and then combined with sort of this system, if you wanted to go up to 400 litres a minute, hectare basically we have a thing called high flow in simple terms high flow turns one pump into two pumps to allow you to get to those uh, rates all of our tanks are on the ux super range basically they're a teardrop shape design so the mass the mass and the volume of the tank is is lower to the ground so you've got a nice low center of gravity so hopefully it doesn't fall over um, and then basically in the super range uh, the range varies from 4,200 uh, litres up to 8,600 litres um, for the trails. Moving on, induction hopper, very similar induction hopper to the UF, Six, 60 litre capacity, 200 litre uh, suction capacity. For when you're filling with, with, with the two pumps, we basically have a maximum, maximum suction capacity of 700 litres a minute. Uh, on, the, on this particular model here, we've got the comfort pack. Again, we've got the automatic cleaning and the automatic filling. And then we have a system called Comfort Pack Plus, which is basically everything that you see on here is all on a touch screen. So when you when you're handling all your chemicals and everything, you've got all your gloves on. The glove stool, it's a it's a physical touch, so you have to physically press it hard to basically to get it to work. So you can still press it using gloves. Sort of moving on onto the back, you can have a rigid or you can have a steered axle, uh, and you can have basically with a steered axle, you can have what's called slope compensation. So obviously when you're on the side of the slope, it'll steer into the slope so you, it's not running away with you. Moving on to sort of the back, the back of the machine, uh, the base of the boom widths, you've got the option of 21 to 42 metres. You've got distance control um, and we've got two types of contour control. So there's one type of contour control, which is basically it just moves on, a, on its centre axis in the middle from side to side. And then we have the other contour control, which is the gull wing. So you've got your pos positive and ne negative geometry. And then we also have, this one's got it specified, but we have a system called swing stop. So when you're going around a corner or you've got some sort of vibrations, basically it stops the booms, it compensates the booms going like that. So basically it puts a, an opposite force into the force direction which the booms are traveling in. With, with these, you can either have your part width section control on AMA select, which is like your standard twist, twister nozzles to change your nozzles, or we can have um, AMA select unit uh, the AMA Select unit is, it looks very similar to well, this, this unit here. So you can have four different nozzle bodies on. Say you're on a, a yellow nozzle body and you want to go to a red nozzle body, you can flick it over from when you're in the cab. But then the, also in conjunction with this system, we have a system called Curve Control. So Curve Control essentially, as you're going around the corner of the field, because you've got four nozzles there, 
when you're going around the corner of the field, that end of that boom is going quite a considerable higher speed compared to the inside. So basically, it will, essentially, if it needs all four nozzles on on the outside, so you've got the, the same rate as the inside, it'll turn all four nozzles on. And that basically compensates so you haven't got underlapping and overlapping within the field. Um, and then basically you have your LED lights, so you, all your nozzles are lit up if you're spraying at night. So, just got home from Pex in Ely. I had to go kind of the long way round because... There's loads of roadworks going on at the minute, but yeah, I managed to get home okay. So thank you to Pex for inviting us today. Sorry again that Daniel couldn't make it, but obviously they had me today, so it's fine. Daniel kind of sent me off and he was like, I know you don't know nothing about farming, but just go have a little look around, see what you can find. And yeah, they had some, some really nice Amazon bits that they were just showing off. And obviously it was really nice to see some of the fast track tractors as well so although i didn't really show many of them you know i just they were just there they were there in the background it's really nice to just have a look at them they're really pretty it was really nice just before i left i met now let me try and remember his name neville a guy called neville and he was trying to get me to get his friend on camera. So I did manage to get his friend on camera, but also got him as well. So hopefully he'll be watching because he did say he'd watch today's video. So if you're watching Neville, thank you for watching. Lovely chatting with you. When I was stood talking to Neville and a couple of his friends, just basically saying about how people think that farmers are quite well off and how we're actually not. I was just explaining that dad and Daniel and mum have been doing a lot of potatoes at the moment because there's a lot of uncertainty as to how much things are going to make in the new year. So while they're getting orders in there, they're selling their potatoes at the moment. And yeah, I'm just finding that a lot of farmers are feeling the same way, that there's a lot of uncertainty as to what's going to happen in the new year. Everyone's feeling the pinch. So and yeah so it was really nice to just have a little chat with him and he was really fun lots of banter so yeah that was that was good and just everyone there I just I just always find I'm really really nervous at something where I'm where I'm there by myself and I don't know why I ever am because farmers are so nice you guys are all so lovely and always so welcoming hopefully you guys really enjoyed it if you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And the other thing that I wanted to mention, I know that we've been having a few issues with our internet just lately. So I just wanted to apologize that sometimes our videos haven't been out on the Tuesday or the Thursday as planned. We have been having a few issues with our internet, which hopefully is being sorted today. The other thing that I wanted to mention is, as I've been out and about and spoken to a few people about YouTube, I have had, I've noticed that people have sort of said, oh, but do you have to pay anything? And I just wanted to let everyone know that if you subscribe to someone's channel, you, you don't pay anything. It's for free. All you do is you just set up a YouTube account and then you can either have notifications when a video comes out. So you then subscribe and then click the little bell. So whenever we put a video out, you'll then get a notification to say that we have a new video out or you just subscribe and then you don't have any notifications you can choose how many how many bombardments you get basically the more subscribers that we have and the more likes that we get on our channel it does help us it helps us to push our video further but also what it does is if you subscribe to channels that you love youtube will show you more videos that, that they think that you'll like as well. So it helps the algorithm to tell them this is the sort of content you want to watch. So if you subscribe to our channel and like the videos, it will show you more content similar. So it helps us and it helps you. So if there's any queries or questions as to the YouTube subscription, just let me know in the comments and obviously we can answer any questions. And yeah, go from there. But it is absolutely free. Tomorrow, I'm hopefully going to another farm sale. I feel cold already thinking about it. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. Thank you for watching. We really appreciate every single one of you. Thank you. Bye.